Coming up on this edition of Carolina Insider, we'll let you know what changes could be made to the current definition of marriage from a new bill introduced by the South Carolina State House. Also, we've got the details on a new food app that has taken the campus by storm and is helping students get their food quickly. But first, sport club funding is a hot topic on USC's campus and we'll tell you how it's confusing many team players. Carolina Insider starts now. Hello and welcome to this edition of Carolina Insider. I'm Sabrina Shutters. Our top story, funding sport clubs at the University of South Carolina means that an administration allocates money to teams. Simple enough, right? USC sport clubs and their process of getting funded is a complicated one, and some may not always be on the same page. I've found where those funds are and who is actually in charge of choosing where they go. Just another Saturday at the USC women's rugby match. They have big hits, loud voices, and team spirit. One thing they don't have, says team treasurer Savvy Williams, money. A lot of us as a student run group, who we have classes, a lot of girls have jobs, and we're still, as a board, as a team, we're trying to find ways to get funding. Still, they get funding. Every student at USC pays a student activity fee, 87 bucks a semester, that adds up to a total budget of $185,000 a year. One would imagine that an administration sits down for a meeting and allocates that money to each sport club. But that isn't the case. Who's deciding where that money goes? The students. The students are the ones giving out the money to the students. That's the fairest way to do it. Lauren Martini Olson, the Associate Director of Campus Recreation for Programs, says that funding sport clubs at the university is quite the process. Those dollars first go to student organizations, and if you're a sport club looking to fund your team, you've got to ask for the funds, according to student body treasurer Merritt Francis. You need to go to treasurer's workshops, you need to host events that are um, inclusive to the whole entire student body so anyone can participate. Simple enough, students just have to ask. Makes sense? Nobody even knows that that's an option. It's a little frustrating. Some clarification? Maybe it isn't so simple. The rugby team says they had no idea how intensive the policy was. We haven't really been aware of any of that situation. We're not told why. Sport clubs like rugby struggle to get just hundreds of dollars for their season, a stark contrast to the big business that is the university football team. That is completely funded by the athletic department and the CFO. Like they're getting millions and millions and millions of dollars. Rugby isn't looking for millions. They're just looking for a small piece of the student fee pie. It benefits students because they're able to do more. They don't have to spend as so much money on dues and can focus more. The recent school shooting in Parkland, Florida last month that claimed 17 lives has prompted activists from around the nation to speak up against gun violence and demand tighter gun control. This Saturday, an activist group called March for Our Lives will march to the State House in solidarity with the survivors. They will protest for answers and accountability from the government over gun control. If you'd like to join that march, the lineup begins Saturday at 9 a.m. at the corner of Sumter and Calhoun Streets. The march starts at 10 a.m. and will go to the State House grounds. A rally will follow that march at the steps of the State House until 5 in the afternoon. For more information, you can visit www.bbconline.org. South Carolina's LGBTQ community is gearing up to take action against a new bill that would change the definition of marriage in the state. Introduced in the House on February 15th, the new Marriage and Constitution Restoration Act would require that only unions between a man and woman be called marriage and deem gay marriage a, quote, parody marriage. Jeff March is president of South Carolina Pride. He says the effort is unconstitutional and prejudiced. It is bigoted. It is prejudiced. It is everything you don't want your lawmakers to sit around a table and think about. While March thinks it's a little premature to organize a protest or rally against the bill, he is working with South Carolina Equality to gather names on a Facebook petition. A new app is making it easier for students, faculty, and staff to order fast food on campus. 
Here with more on that in today's buzz is Cleopatra Shabazz. Cleopatra? USC students no longer have to wait in long lines thanks to Topingo. Topingo is an app that allows students to pre-order food and pick up their orders in the express line. Students love Topingo because it's both convenient and easy to use. Simply open the app, explore your options, choose what you want, and place your order. Topingo users must show their confirmation receipt at the express line to pick up their order. Most importantly, students love Topingo because the app allows Carolina cash and meal plan payments. For Carolina Insider, I'm Cleopatra Shabazz. Back to you, Sabrina. Thank you, Cleopatra. That's it for this edition of Carolina Insider, a student production here in the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio in the School of Journalism and Mass Communications. See you back here Wednesday.